Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Striving for Wellness. Today is all about my walking stick or my cane. I wanted to try to bling my cane out. This is a part of my life. She is a part of my life, so I've been using her for a little over a year now. So I said, well, I got to keep using this cane. It's time to bling her out. So I picked up some ad adhesive diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree. I wanted black, but they didn't have black. They didn't, they didn't, um, they didn't even have the clear. So I said, well, I like pink too. If they would have had purple, I would have got purple, but oh well. So I picked up three of them because I wasn't sh really sure what I was going to do. Um, these are some old rhinestone butterflies that I got from Dollar Tree last year. Because I had did some things in my daughter's room. I love butterflies. so And she liked butterflies also. But this one, this one is open. And this is the pill that you peel off for the back because it's adhesive, like I said. So, I hope you can see it. I already started cutting. So, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. So, I'm basically just like winging it right now. <laughs> I got my cane. Well, my husband got my cane from Walmart. You can see the Equate brand. And it has like a string. The bottom piece didn't come with it. You could get this also from Walmart. Um, I think it was like $9. The four prong to be more stable. Because when I try to use the cane without this, it's like too unstable. It's too shaky. So, and this is the part that you push up and down to adjust it to your height. This part is made of rubber, like a hard rubber. So I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm just winging it. You know, trying to make it look more like a fever, more prettier. And I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on a new cane. This cane has been good to me over the past year. So, I use what I got. So, I hope you can see. So, I'm basically going to cut them, try to cut them the same um, size and just wrap it around. Bring it closer so you guys can see it. That would be nice, right? So it's basically going to wrap around. I think I'm going to stop to like, before you get to where you could adjust the cane, because you can't cover this part. You need this part open. So I'm going to just bring it down to here. Try not to cut on the rhinestone part. I think that's my husband coming in. One second. Sorry about that, everyone. Hubby had came in. I had to talk to him for a few seconds. So I did the first one. Hope you can see it. And like a little strip I cut. I didn't measure anything, but this is the adhesive in the back. So I hope it sticks because I have my um, glue gun, but I didn't really want to use this because it's going to mess up like the metal in the case I do find the black rhinestones and want to change it. I want to be, be able to just peel this off and wipe it down. 
Sorry, it's like always hard to make a video in this household. Um, but like I said, it's a little strip. So I'm thinking, should I put it together like this or like space it? Like if it, like if it was a um, candy cane, like how the, the width of it. That's how I'm trying to explain it. Like a candy cane stripe. Like it's not too much together, but like going down. I think I'm going to do it like that. Uh, what you guys think? Comment down below. So next time if I change the color to black, the color I really want. Let me know you think I should just bunch it together and bling it down to the adjuster. Or make it like this again, like sh stripes, like a candy cane. But right now I'm going to do it like a candy cane. See, I have a extra piece of flat. So I'm going to have to cut that off. Because it's not going to close right because the rhinestones. Now it is. See? And I'm not going to waste this little piece. I can use it for something. Let's put it to the side. So I'm going to do it all the way down, like I said, to the adjuster. And I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube. Y'all still here? Because I'm still here. <laughs> so. I brung it all the way down. I spaced it like a candy cane. And I made sure I cut it to where it's three rows of rhinestones. So, and I didn't use the hot glue gun. Unless when I wrapped it around, if one of the flaps was still lifted, I just made sure I hot glue on top of this and not the metal of the cane. Because like I said, if I want to change this to black rhinestone, like I originally wanted to do it in the first place I want to be able to take this off without messing up the metal so but I have the hot glue gun for the rhinestone butterflies I'm only going to add two of these um, because I love butterflies sorry if you hear noise in the background but this area gets on my nerves when I'm trying to make a video I'm pretty sure you guys can relate. <laughs> relate who's always trying to make a video. A bunch of noise. It's just so annoying. See, I'm trying. I have to do this one a little bit closer because the adjuster is right there. Cut it out. If you hear any noise, it's the kitties trying to scratch stuff. <laughs> I think it's time to play as soon as I come over here and start doing things. Okay, so I have to stop right there because as you can see the adjuster is right there. So don't cover these if you're going to do this. Um, you never know in case you had to adjust it <laughs> while you're out or something like that. You don't want to cover that part. So... I want to add some down here because for the most part, I've been keeping mine at this height. So I think I'm going to add some down here. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. They do sell like a fox fur cover that I've seen. I don't know if I want to get that later or just bling this, bling this part out. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to finish this part down here. I'm not going to touch this part. <laughs> Just this part right here. Okay. This part has to be cleaned better. It was like the stickies that came with it. They tell you the weight. This weight for this cane is 300 pounds. Like I said, this is the Quake brand from Walmart. So if you're looking for a cane, this holds up to 300 pounds. And this four prong separate piece comes from walmart and it's about nine ten dollars and it keeps your cane more stable so i'm gonna cut another row and i'm gonna try to bring this part out like i said i've been using my cane for over a year because i'm still off balance i'm hoping my symptoms of the ms will get better 
I'm hoping it's not permanent because I met different people at the MS events. If you watched my last video, I was talking about the MS events I, I attend. Be sure to watch that video. And some people said they had to use canes and rollators, walkers, you know, but then they didn't have to use it anymore. So I'm hoping that would be my blessing. Let's see the strip I cut. And maybe I don't have to use a cane for the rest <laughs> of my life. I'm hoping because these people are older than me and they do not use a cane anymore. They said they had the relapses when they had for a time and they like to use it, but they no longer use it. So, so far, I have to still use mine because if I'm out too long or walking too much, my legs get very tired. See how I cut that too short, this one? So I'm going to fill it in. See that piece? I see. See? That's why you never throw anything away because you never know you might need it. But now you can't even tell. You can't even tell now. You always keep whatever you buy. <laughs> Don't throw anything in the garbage. So. Wrap it again. And it don't have to be perfect. It's perfect enough for you. That's all. I'm trying not to cut it too short again. Because you can see through the back. It's an adhesive, so you can, you can see through it too. So you can know where to cut it at. That's good. So if it doesn't, I'm going to give it a week. And I'll give you guys an update if it stayed on. Because if it don't, then I know this you need, like, um, the glue gun, which I'm not going to use. Because, like I said, I, I eventually want to change this to black rhinestone. I didn't really want silver rhinestone. So, yeah, I'm going to save this little piece in case I need it again. Put it right back on there. Because it's self-adhesive. See? Stick right back to the paper. You just pull it up. And cut again. I did three rows. I made a mistake in the beginning to cut on a rhinestone because I was paying attention to my husband coming up the stairs. It wasn't paying attention. I said, no, you're not supposed to cut on a rhinestone. A little sticky, so I'm trying to cut a straight line. Without cutting. The rhinestone again. It's very tacky and sticky. All for one dollar. You can't beat the Dollar Tree. They had sky blue, orange, green when I went and pink, but no clear or black. So I said, you know what? Let me just get this pink. And they had baby pink. This is like the fuchsia pink. This is my favorite pink. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. But I didn't want baby pink. I wanted the fuchsia. This is my favorite pink. If I'm going to have pink, I'd rather have fuchsia. I like using baby pink for my daughter. My daughter's eight years old. so She has a lot of baby pink in her room. Oops, sorry, I'm out of focus. See, I'm just pressing it down. No hot glue gun, just self adhesive. Hope you guys can see it. I'm using my phone, so hope it's clear. Sorry if you hear like noise in the back. My husband is making something in the in the toaster oven, so put one more. I'm gonna put one more right here. That'd be it with that part. So 
I hope everyone is having a blessed day and being well. And just living life the best you can, even if you're watching and you're dealing with depression or health problems. Just take it one day at a time. That's what I do. That's all we all can do is just take it one day at a time. No one's perfect. Okay. So last part I'm going to do. Kind of hard to cut this one because the prong is in the way. So I hope I cut it right. Try not to cut the lines there. Okay, I got it. Just press it down. I'm gonna wash this part off better because that is for the. I'm gonna put this back. Okay, stick right back to the paper. Like I said, this is the adhesive diamond wrap from Dollar Tree Floral Garden. The size is a 6 by 10 inch, 15.2 centimeters times 25.4 centimeters. Good. Give you a good amount for a dollar. So, you could do a lot with it. But, like I said, I have to wash this part off because that's the sticky part. But, this is the adjuster part. So, I'm going to do this part also. Because this is nothing but, you know, the screw part. So, I'll put a piece on this one too. Um, Wrap it right around there. Try to hold it up. Keep it straight. Okay. And like I said, if it comes a loose, I can always just put a little bit of hot glue on top of the adhesive rhinestone, not the cable, not the metal. Okay, this is how it's looking. And I'm 5'2", so <laughs> I'm short. Hope you guys, everyone can see it. I'm trying to see what do I want to do with this part. And it's a string that comes with it, but I don't take this off. I just leave it. Sorry, if you hear noise, it's downstairs neighbors. Um, I'm definitely going to cover this. So I think I might just hot glue a butterfly on this part for right now. So much noise in the background. Mm, I hate the street. I live on I really do. So I think I'm going to put a purple butterfly. Because I would have did like a black black rhinestone and like clear butterflies but gotta use what I got so this is the purple one kind of see should I put purple or pink take it upside down purple or pink 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 or purple I almost burnt myself. <laughs> uh, I like purple too. Like black is my favorite color, but I like purple. So I'm like, should I just keep it all pink? I think I might just keep it all pink. Just keep it all pink. Because it's like the same similar color. I think I'm gonna just hot glue that right right on the side and don't don't add the um the rhinestone adhesive to it 
That's okay. <laughs> I just add it right on top. Just in case I want to take it off. I can just pluck it right off. But this is how it's looking. I'm not sure if I want to add the bling to the handle part because this part is going to be pressing into my hand. I'm not sure if it's going to be comfortable. Because my days that I'm very weak, I tend to hold this like very tight. Like a tight grip. And I don't want it to like be so uncomfortable. But I do want to maybe find that fox fur one. It's like a cover that goes on top of this. Or if I could find, get my husband to find fox fur in the store. Um, if I'm not strong enough to go in the store with him. I just I always send him like a picture or something I need and he go get it for me. But I would like like a black fox fur to go at the top. If if I could find a fabric um, in a craft store, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, like somewhere, one of those type stores. Um, Mike, oh, what is it, Michaels? Any type of craft store around if not then i have to maybe get it offline or ask my mom to help me find it but i want like the fur i love fox fur like on things it don't have to be real fur <laughs> but i like that it's soft and fluffy so this is the finished product for right now because i don't think i'm gonna cover this because i think this is going to be uncomfortable pressing into my hand This is the finished product. And this is the cane standing up. So I think it came out okay. Like I said, I had to leave that part there. Or should I just do it halfway and just leave the adjusters out? I don't know. I think I should finish it. And just don't cover the adjusters. I don't know. I think it looks strange like that. I think it looks strange. I think I'm going to add some more. And just don't cover the adjusters. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this much left. And I bought three. I just had to save it for another project. Or if my daughter needs something new. This is old. I've been had these from the last project that I did in my daughter's room. So, you get a lot in it because I didn't even need the whole thing. So, let me show you the finished product. This is the finished product. So, I think it looked better that I added more. And I added another butterfly in the back, a purple one. The pink one is right there. Like I said, I'm not going to add any adhesive um, adhesive rhinestone at the top because I think it's going to hurt my hand. So what I did was just I went around the adjuster part. You can't really even tell. But it's there. If you look closely. I didn't cover it. So just in case I need to change it, which I don't. <laughs> I didn't cover it so I hope you you guys enjoyed the little video I made I hope it wasn't too long sorry I had to keep stopping the video it's just too much noise on my street but I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna mess with the prong because that gets too dirty so because I was gonna add like maybe some a line going down hmm. But it, it just gets so dirty, and then when it rains, it rains, um, it's going to get messed up. So I think I'm going to just leave it how it is. So until next time, everyone have a blessed day, and God bless.